Greetings, you guys. This is going to be this week's pick a card reading, and this will be um, well, most of you guys, majority voted for romantic reading, of course. You know, it's what we do, we love readings. So, I did not get any um, suggestions for what type of love reading to do in that poll. So, what I did was I had two options of something that I saved, like an idea that I saved a while ago, and I kind of just did like a ask spirit, like which one would be more beneficial so I was drawn to what is this person's ideal partner okay what is this ideal um, guy or girl for them right so I have four piles to choose from four musical artists that you guys can choose for your pile pile number one is gonna be with Beyonce pile number two is gonna be with Kurt Cobain pile number three will be with Janis Joplin and pile number four will be with Kanye West so, you guys get to choose which pile stands out to you and which one resonates. Keep in mind, this is entertainment purposes only for fun, general guidance reading. It's not meant to be a personal reading. So, you know, have fun with it, okay? So, I'm going to give you guys a moment to meditate and reflect on the artist or the pile that stands out to you. And then we'll go ahead and get this thing jumping and then we'll start. Okay. All right, for those of you drawn to Beyonce, this is going to be your pile. This is the Queen of Hearts. So some of you guys could be water signs. You could be asking about a water sign person. So um, just as a disclaimer, if you guys skip the beginning, this is not a personal reading. Take this for fun, for entertainment purposes only, okay? All right, so I appreciate y'all coming to my channel. If you guys are new, if you guys are existing subscribers, thank you so much again for your love and support. If you guys are interested in booking your own personal reading, check the description box below to set up your booking dates and time, email me directly. Um, also, if you have any questions about my readings or my availability, also feel free to email me and you guys can follow me on Instagram as well. Everything you'll need to know will be in the description box below. All right, so this person that you have on your mind let's see what they're into some of these cards I'm gonna put to the side because it's not meant for me to look at yet so I'm gonna put this to the side I'm gonna use my relationship Oracle cards and my Wild Child readings love archetype cards so if you guys are interested in any of these decks the link will be in the description or any of my decks all right I'm going to use the enchanted love tarot <clears throat> as well and the archetypes oracle card so let's see what this person's into we're gonna look at what they're into spiritually physically emotionally mentally in a mate what they look for what they're drawn to so this person i like them i like this person whoever they are okay i like their vibe because okay so what they look for they look for a connection so they have a past life card and they have the wife card so you could be asking about a male or female um so if it's a male because you do have the king of gems which is the king of pentacles in this deck the realist so this person is very realistic when it comes to their pursuit and love okay i see that this person like what they look for in a person physically is someone that um for one i feel like they may look for people that they don't have a type I also feel like for this group, for majority of you, you may be African-American descent or you're drawn to African-American descent, you know, lovers or, you know, you're attracted to that type or tan skinned people. But I feel like they don't really have a type necessarily. They may be more drawn to darker complected people, but I don't feel like that's necessarily the, the thing. They may like, if it's a male or a woman that likes women, they may be into um, thicker, you know, um, curvier women, um, you know, fuller faces maybe, um, 
definitely they like hair i don't feel like they discriminate whether it's their real hair or if it's a weave or something or braids or dress i feel like they just like the you know the beauty of women basically but they do have a preference for thicker women whether that's um you know what people call plus size or just a little curvier than most um if it's a guy i feel that you're um that you're asking about their type as far as it being into men if it's a, a male that's into men or a woman that's into men this person likes men that um may have i feel like i'm just gonna say i don't feel like they really have a type when it comes to that i feel this person may um just focus on the confidence in a male so if you're confident if you walk with your head straight like head straight up tall your back you know chest out they're interested in you if you're confident it's something about the character um as far as emotionally what they're drawn to they look for wifey materials or someone that they feel like is a husband material okay for majority i feel like this is those interested in a male that's interested in women or uh, feminine energies where they're looking for a wife so they're mentally or emotionally drawn to people that give them that vibe that they can take care of home very sweet devoted type of people um you know people that appreciate what they have to offer and what they have to give because i feel like this person is a giver this person may be financially stable or just have a lot to offer if it's a male that you're asking about um or a masculine woman they are very well you know they want to take care so they look for people who are also free thinkers people who are not always thinking negatively they have a a deeper perspective on life they want someone emotionally that it feels like home with the past life card that it's like we've known each other forever um someone that also is the type that likes to help others and not always focusing on themselves like they appreciate that type of person um mentally what they're into they might be into someone that's like utterly obsessed with them with the nine of swords which is the nine of wings and it says obsession so someone that could be just like so into them because maybe they're used to people or they've had people in their past that did not appreciate what they had to give feel like this person's very practical but that doesn't mean that they're not seeking something um you know deeper or emotional i'm more so getting that this person looks at the heart of people but also like the, the character of a person i don't feel like they're so drawn to the physical so much but like i said physically they may be drawn to more of a if it's a woman that they're interested in it's more of a curvier person if it's a man that they're interested in it's just confidence but other than that they look at more than that spiritually what they're drawn to are people who are almost like down to earth loving inspiring selfless people they're looking for that they may even want someone that helps them mentally or helps them you know they may be looking for a wife or a husband that's what they're looking for and, and when they date people they may subconsciously do it but that's what they seek they want someone that also can teach them about life as well you know they may feel like their life is a little boring and mundane sometimes and they want someone that sparks that up for them this person could be an earth sign they could also be an air sign i'm getting um Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically with the Seven of Pentacles, that's Taurus. Nine of Swords is Gemini. So it could be that these are specific signs or these could be your signs, but it does not have to be, of course. So let's see if whatever they're drawn to, like the type that they're drawn to, is it of their highest good, yes or no? I'm getting a no. Um, maybe they're coming into a better awareness of what they're looking for i feel like the act the part that i don't like uh, that they're drawn to is people that are obsessed with them and that's not healthy obsession is not healthy by any means um if they're wanting someone to like be there for them and save them and all this stuff or they want to be the one to save a person um to the point where it's like codependency then no that could be the downside of this so the type that they're drawn to is 
or the types that they're drawn to is not of their highest good and I feel like it's because this person still needs to figure out what they're looking for and I'm sorry if y'all hear the kids yelling all out I told them I was doing something sometimes people don't care um yeah but yeah with the six of clouds this is a no card and I get that sometimes their impulses draw them to certain people um but I just get that they're still learning about what's for their highest good and what they want so let's see what type is of their highest good. I'm just going to clarify because what type is of their highest good? The will of fortune. So someone that is the total opposite, they may be looking for someone like them. That could be it too. They may look for characteristics that they carry within themselves with the knight of pentacles. Yeah, someone who's potentially someone that's more practical um this person may also if they're like the practical type they may be like i need some excitement i need someone that um lights my fire they could be into fire signs because she's holding a, a torch so they could be into that um i get neediness they may like needy partners or something too so the ace of cups yeah this person may need some healing when it comes to love and relationships, um, just with the will of fortune, kind of allow spirit to match make relationships for them. Because I kind of feel like they subconsciously seek these types of people. So let's see how they see you or how they will see you if you don't know this person like that. The Empress and the Seven of Wands. So how do they see you or how will they see you? This person may look at you like you got it all together. You got you're the entire package as the empress. Now, if it's not that it's a feminine energy that you are, if you're not a feminine energy or a woman, then this person, if it's a male um, person, as far as how you see a male energy, I feel like, or masculine energy, that you could be that one to make them feel like the empress, make them feel like um, everything that they've been seeking or asking for, um, embody that mothering, nurturing energy. But I just get beauty, period, whether it's a male or female, masculine or feminine energy, they see you as beautiful and they will see you as very, very beautiful. And it's like in a natural state, natural element, just you and your true essence and self. So this person may also feel like you're hard to get with the seven of wands um or they will see you this way if you don't know them like i said they may see you as someone who has a lot of options not easy to get to may have to fight for your attention um that type of thing like i feel like they have to go the extra mile to get you because they may put you up on a very high pedestal highest regard you could be something that's different for them the empress is like in her element she doesn't really need anyone at the same time of course she's her your her emperor is a part of her empire so it's not that she doesn't necessarily need a mate and if it's a man as far as like or how a woman is seeing a man or how you know whoever is seeing a male that they're interested in you may see this person as like you know they they may be looking for someone to complete them or they may be looking for a perfect type of woman or feminine energy they may be looking for that and i don't know if i can live up to this expectation that this person has and also it could be the other way around that if you're a feminine energy or woman this person may look at you like i don't know how i can live up to this person's expectations or this is how they're seeing you already so let's see what your advice is viewer express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so for some of you guys may be withholding the fact that you're interested in this person, especially if you have some self-doubt, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter, about yourself and feeling like you're not good enough. This It would be beneficial for you to express yourself or be more open with this person, show some sort of interest, because this could just be a crush for right now if this is your mate. Um, maybe talking out, talk out some of your insecurities, because some of you guys may be feeling like you're not good enough for your mate or something like that. Um, it's not telling you to chase anyone down or anything. It's just simply saying to be confident in yourself and express yourself authentically and truly, whether that's verbally or just showing this person that you're interested in them or that you care about them or you love them. That's spirit's advice for you. 
So that was the reading for Pile Beyonce. If you guys have another suggestion for the next pick a card next week, please leave it in the description. Don't forget to check the description box or the comment section. Leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to check the description if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading. Follow me on Instagram. Feel free to like, share this video. I greatly appreciate it. And much love to you guys as always. what's good those of you who were drawn to kurt cobain this is your reading you guys could be dealing with an air sign person potentially um or asking about an air sign person or you could be an air sign if you guys skip the beginning the disclaimer was that this reading is not meant to be taken as a personal reading it is for the entertainment purposes only it's general so please only take what may resonate with you also if you guys are interested in booking your own personal readings, you guys can check in the description box below the link to my website. Just make sure that you email me to set up a booking date or a time if a time is needed for your specific reading. Or if you guys have questions about my readings or availability, feel free to email me as well. All right. So let's see what type this person is drawn to. I'm going to put these to the side because I don't need these just yet. So I'm going to pull this towards me where I can see it. So I'm going to use my Wally Child um, Love Archetype cards. And I'm going to use my Relationship Oracle cards. We got Spying Fuck Girl. What the hell? Two archetypes came out for this group. You have Visionary and Judge. Quite a few tarot cards came out for this group. You have the Empress, the Creativity, the Chariot, Termination. Queen of Wings, which is the Queen of Swords, the Analyst, Three of Gems, which is the Three of Pentacles, Work, and Ten of Roses, which is the Ten of Wands, okay, which is Stress, okay, so let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so let's start off with what they're drawn to physically. So physically, this person is drawn to very handsome or very beautiful people, maybe aesthetically like clothes, nice clothing, um, you know, makeup, hair done, nails done, or fresh haircut. Um, just has the look aesthetically with the Empress card. So it could be male or female. But they're very much into maybe even like prima donnas or pretty boys. This is a male or masculine energy. This person is like a pretty boy type. Or if it's a woman, very well dressed, very made up. Um, kind of, I would say, Kim Kardashian type of look. Maybe not necessarily, but that's what I'm getting. Um, also, could be like, when I see the chariot, I think of the horse, stallion. So if it's a female, this person has like nice breasts, nice butt, could be like very curvaceous. If it's a male, he has a nice chest, nice arms. So very muscular build maybe. Someone that looks like they work out a lot. If it's some of them maybe into women who are quite muscular or athletically built. Maybe like Serena Williams maybe or fitness model type. They could be into that. Um... They also may be drawn to, yeah, people that just put a lot of work and effort into their look, okay? They may be into people who dress in designer clothing or name brands. So that's what they're into or drawn to physically. Um, emotionally, what they're drawn to. They're drawn to, emotionally, they're drawn to people that kind of paint this colorful world where it's not boring, it's not mundane. Um... They could be into people who make them work and fight for things. They may also like the feisty type or a guy that's like hard to get, that knows he has all these other girls or men or whatever, that all these other options, and they feel like they have to work for it. Unfortunately, with the fuck girl card, they may, if it's a woman or male, doesn't matter. Their interest, they like these player type of guys or women that... You're not their only option. They play you like a fiddle. You know, they know that they're attractive or know that they have things to offer. And I'm getting more so what they have to offer is beauty looks and money. Not necessarily anything deep. Um, mentally, they like to decode people. 
they might like a person mentally that stimulates them um you know like have to figure this person out make them work to get to them make them you know really work hard to get their attention and once they got them then it's kind of like to keep that momentum going uh, maybe they like people that spend money on them or them spending money on another person they may also be into insecure people or they're insecure there's a lot of spying on each other on social media or going through people's phone let me see your phone who are you talking to like they like they like this person to me seems like they like drama queens or drama kings um it's not a balanced healthy relationship vibe i get from this it's like they may be turned on by stressful relationships mentally spiritually they want someone that i feel like this person may be into compromising their truth to fit in sometimes and that could be what spirit is saying that this person gives too much to others to um live up to an expectation they may be drawn to people that really don't have touch are not in touch with themselves spiritually they're drawn to i wouldn't say that they like maybe this just like i said this is what they're drawn to okay um they're very destructive people maybe they spiritually it's going to cost them because the scale right here they may be i don't know why i'm getting libra energy strongly with this like libra or someone that has libra in their chart um or they're drawn to libra people men or women but someone who's very destructive and maybe someone that has a, a, a past with the law, like, um, you know, I feel like this is not a clean cut energy either or maybe clean cut types. But I just see spiritually this may cost them. They may be drawn to a karmic, like a lot of karmic connections, basically. And that could help them with their growth. But is it healthy? No. Let's see what spirit says, though. If, if their type that they're drawn to is of their highest good. You have a maybe. So why is it a maybe? For the most part, I'm going to say that it ties into the fact that it could help them spiritually. If these are karmic connections, it's helping them to heal and balance out their karma. But on the opposite end of it, like just on a mundane surface level for partnership, like to hook up with people like this. No, it's not of their highest good. This type that they're drawn to. No. Um with the birds this can represent um something about communication or truth and honesty just being real and honest with self so let's see what type i'm just going to clarify like or just ask spirit what is the type that they may need that's of their highest good rather than what they're drawn to or what they think they want because i get this is the toxic energy the strength card they need someone who has a strong sense of character someone who's not controlling or manipulative for one someone who has integrity about themselves the six of pentacles someone who has balance like yeah i can be the serious type i can also be the fun type the the fun chick or the fun guy i, I know how to have fun i know how to have balance but i know my value and i know my worth so they need someone that is a balanced character i feel like these types right here are very insecure types maybe both of them are insecure types of people but this is a no-go let's see how they see you or how they will see you if you don't really know this person the star and the queen of cups so they're going to see you whether you're male or female they're going to see you or they do see you as very different you're almost etheric you're almost like a alien or a unicorn to what they're used to you could be a healer you could be very sweet very empathic they may see you as someone who's a healer who has a very sweet nature a very calming peaceful nature and very beautiful a very beautiful person maybe to the point where you don't even see it you don't know it or your beauty is otherworldly it's etheric it's spiritual so they see you for your spirit and i feel like right here it's more about physical things it's more about what this person has what can this person do for me who they are in society you know how he or she you know what they got what can they give me what can i give to them like a lot of that it's like a very superficial connection it's like that social media couple that everybody's like oh they're so cute together but behind closed doors they don't really match they don't really have anything in common they just look cute and i feel like that's what this group right here is drawn to not to say that that's what they want but it's what they're drawn to and again, it could be because it's karmic connections that they have to heal from. 
So they may look at you as like this peaceful person. There's nothing like this, but you're still beautiful. And they may even see you as someone that's out of their league with the star card. Um, just very sweet. Okay. This person may kind of like you if they know about you. If they don't, then this is potentially how they will see you. So um, let's see what your advice is. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I feel like your advice is to really look at this if this is a person that you want to vibe with because they got some issues or they have some things that they need to work on. Um, you know, the type of connections that they're dealing with. Although you may be that person to heal them or put them on to a different type of love. Maybe even you're assigned to this person to help them heal but not to like put responsibility on this person or anything but i just get that just look at this situation and see if this person and yourself do you see this being a potential higher connection or are you just attracted to this person um because i get like they have some stuff that they need to heal and they need to work on because the type of people that they're drawn to and you could be like i said you could be that one that you know helps them to see the opposite side of love or help them to see what truly matters or you know their worth because maybe they don't feel worthy of a deep bond with someone maybe they feel like they deserve these superficial connections and things like that for whatever reason but um yeah just kind of evaluate this if this is someone that you really want to get to know okay i do um yeah i do feel like this person needs healing for sure if i didn't say that several times can't say it enough but yeah much love to you guys if this reading resonates feel free to like it share this video with someone or share the channel don't forget to check the description if you guys have a suggestion for next week leave it in the comment section much love to you peace all right those of you drawn to janice joplin you got the four of clubs which could be a fire sign energy so I'm going to turn these cards towards me where I can see them. But, um, yeah. Okay, put this to the side. All right, so if you guys skip the beginning, this disclaimer is that this reading is general. It's for entertainment purposes only. This is not a personal reading. So um, please only take what resonates or just enjoy the reading, you know, for its fun, whatever, or ent entertainment. If you guys are interested in your own personal readings, you guys can check the description box below for the link to my website. Also, if you guys have any um, questions about my readings availability and to set up your booking date, please email me directly. Also, follow me on Instagram if you guys would like to as well. So, let's get into this person's type. Um, okay, so you got the Seven of Wings, which is the Seven of Swords opposition. Princess of Shells, which is the Page of Cups, the Romantic, Ace of Swords, Triumph, Ace of Wings, so that's Ace of Swords. Um, they have the Mediator, the Avenger, the Companion, with False Love and Fuckboy. So I'm using two of my decks, the Archetype, Love Archetype cards and the Relationship Oracle. So if you guys are interested in this deck, or both decks, um, that will be in the description. So get started and see what types this person is drawn to so this person may be physically drawn to um very feminine very woman like very feminine very yeah so if it's a, a guy or girl that's drawn to women they like women that are more feminine energies that are very soft and nurturing very sweet very dainty maybe petite physically um maybe has very sharp features or very soft features almost like childlike so say for instance selena gomez may be cute to them or um if it's maybe janae aieko like that type of facial structure or like petite small um if it's a male, if it's a male here, then they're drawn to men that also may be very beautiful in the face, like almost feminine. <sighs> Who's the best description of this? I don't know. 
but just has very sharp, very delicate features. Um, maybe slim built men or women. They may like people that match their height or it's like a perfect balance in height and weight. So like kind of the same body structure as them to some degree. Um, don't feel like they're into like race specifically like oh they gotta be this or their hair has to be like this or I just feel like it's more so about body type and maybe the facial structure of a person maybe. So what they look for emotionally within a connection, they look for someone who can be their best friend, someone who's very sweet, very nurturing, compassionate, someone who's like a hopeless romantic such as themselves. Maybe they also, they desire someone who's balanced, you know, someone who believes in being honest and loyal and authentic and true. Uh, a lover that is, you know, unselfish. They look for someone who's also... You know, if we ever have a problem, let's talk it out. You know, they like this, the mediator type. They like this person who um, knows how to give and take in a relationship as well, okay? Someone that they feel like they give, they receive, and vice versa. Like, it's not just a one-sided connection. Because um, they don't like stress and drama. I feel like mentally they look for, they're drawn to, let's say, they're drawn to subconsciously towards people who are very um, sweet in nature, peaceful, who don't like drama, who don't like opposition, don't like stress. They want someone that's also um, maybe verbally expressive or someone who knows how to express their emotions fluid, like fluidly. But at the same time with the fuckboy and false love, they may get easy they could be easily acceptable to um player types whether it's male or female for majority it could be fuck boys they like you know people that wine and dine them and give them talk very sweetly towards them because the page of cups can be very could be a sweet talker not not so much like the knight of cups but you know, sometimes they just say things because it sounds good or they just want to appease you, but they don't think about the consequences later. So they could be drawn to people like this that it feels like a fantasy, a fairy tale, like a child playfulness. And they could even come across as a fuck boy or fuck girl to the opposite people that they do, you know, the other side. The other side could probably say that the person you're asking about is a player type or strung them along because the page of cups is like puppy love it's not something that lasts long there's not any pinnacles here so that makes me feel like this person is not the most stable grounded person when it comes to love maybe they've never really had a serious relationship before that lasted not even a year maybe not maybe not even two months but you know they're they're good people i feel like they're good people but at the same time, it's like they have a very false sense of uh, perception of what love truly is. And they may be in it until it sounds good. They may also might not be the type that fights for a relationship. If it starts with some sort of opposition, instead of working through it together, they, they throw in the towel. Or they're drawn to people like this that don't have the stamina for a long-term relationship. So is the types that they're drawn to... Um, mentally and spiritually because I feel like on a spiritual level they're drawn to these types um, and it could be for their own lessons and learning and healing but it can also be about respecting themselves and um, creating boundaries if they're the type that is getting the falseness towards them or if they're giving the falseness then it could also be helping them to reevaluate what they give versus what they receive but Let's see if this type is of their highest good. So you have a maybe card with the tree. This could be healing them, okay? Maybe it's like something generational. Maybe they, they don't have good examples around them as to what real, real relationships are. So they're drawn to these types of connections to help them learn and help them to heal. So number five is also a number of change. So these connections can be good as far as helping them heal and exchange to change. But are they healthy down to the root of it? No, they're kind of fantasy like because the tree in playing cards is the seven of hearts. Seven of hearts is equivalent to the seven of cups almost in tarot. So a lot of illusionary fantasy daydreaming puppy love type of energy. So let's see the type that they 
you know, need, the type that they need. Whoa, these cards flew at my chest. So you got Page of Cups twice. Two of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. So Spirit's saying, yeah, you know, you kind of, the love and the reciprocation and the romantic aspect, that's okay, that's fine. But with the Page of Cups, he has to be willing to learn about love, his journey to love. He has to be willing to have, um, he has to be able to put in that work with the Ten of Pentacles. So what they need is a partner that not only stimulates that romantic fantasy you know puppy love pure playful love but also a person that has the ability to put in work in a relationship to reach it to its full completion and because they don't i feel like they don't even get to see the potential of a relationship because they ended before it even you know you got to go through the milestones and the connection um or they deal with people like this who don't even go that in deep in depth not to say this person isn't deep because i feel like they are but um this person could also just have issues with trust and, and love in some sense okay they might get cold feet and draw back or they deal with people like this but it could also be a person that has a healthy um perception of love and self and what maybe family so whether they grew up in a family that had healthy relationships or did not they strive to have healthy bonds and i feel like that's the type that they need as far as how they see you or how this person will see you, got the tower in reverse with the page of swords upright. So this person may look at you in a very, you know, rational, logical way. Um, whether they know, like if they know you, they may see you um, someone that they need to be on guard with because you may be the type that they don't feel like it's a safe type of person because you may have a very dynamic personality. This person may be a little more on the introverted side and you could be an extrovert or just what you the type of vibe that you have is very dynamic and a little too powerful, a little bit too strong for them. So this is how they see you or how they will see you if they don't know too much about you. But I get like this person's impression of you would be that you have a very dynamic personality. You may stand out just like kind of striking. This could be either physically, energetically, but you have a very strong present and it may even startle them a little bit. So let's see what your advice is. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So if this is someone that you're interested in or you're dating or whatever, Spirit is saying like get to know this person deeper because if they've been used to the people pulling out of relationships early, you know, don't disappoint this person. Like get to know them further and deeper. Because um, I feel like they, they're not used to that. And if it be that they're the type that pulls out of relationships quickly, Spirit may be saying, like, don't waste too much of your time waiting for this person to see your value and see your worth. But if this person is willing to overcome that, Spirit is saying that, yes, give this some time because it could be worth it. But like this is a good person. They just need to get to that part of a relationship where they go through the storms in order to see the beauty on the outs on the other side of that like you got to go through the rain before you can even see the rainbow like they have to learn this there's a rainbow right there so they they have to go through this or if they're that type of person that's willing to do that show them that you can give that back to them if this is really what you want if this is a person that you're interested in um know that it's not really you if this person is the type that runs scared in relationships or pulls out or shows interest but then draws back it's not necessarily you i feel like spirit wants you to know that it's something to do with this person whether it's the distrust from people doing this to them pulling in and out of their life or them doing this because they need to heal that aspect of themselves okay so if this reading resonated with you feel free to like this video share subscribe um, don't forget to check the description if you're interested in booking with me and I greatly appreciate you feel free to leave a suggestion for the next pick a card reading in the comment section all right so much luck to y'all until next time peace What's up, those of you drawn to Mr. West, Kanye West, Two of Hearts? It could be water energy. It could be a spiritual connection. This group had a lot of cards that wanted to come out. So I didn't pull cards 
like the same amount of cards for each pile. I just pulled what I was drawn to pull, okay? So we're going to look at the cards. And before I do, as a disclaimer, if you guys skip the beginning, these are not general. I mean, these are general. These are not personal readings. They're general. Take it for entertainment purposes only or take what resonates with you, okay? If you guys are interested in booking your own personal reading, you guys can check in the description box below the link to my website where you guys can book your readings. Also, if you guys have a question about my readings or my availability, feel free to also email me about that, okay? All right, so let's see. Unity and harmony, March. So this person could be a water sign, like a Pisces maybe, Pisces or Aries. Authenticity and spiritual, okay? I'm going to point these towards me where I can see them. Um, archetype athlete. Tarot cards. You have the five of roses, which is the five of wands, competition, temperance, patience, judgment, perspective. Okay. So what is this person into or drawn to rather? So physically what they're drawn to, athletic types, obviously with athletic card. Someone who may be very much about their body someone that takes care of their body, someone that um, is very health conscious, someone who knows that they need to drink such and such amount of water, eat this and that. They could be into people that eat, you know, vegans, vegetarians, um, just people that like to work out, maybe physically um, athletic already that are into sports. Um, whether that's male or female, they like someone that's fit. Usually they're drawn to people that are fit, I would say. Um, they can also be into, I don't know why I'm getting Asian descent, so they may like people that are, have Asian backgrounds, whether that's because they are or have that in their, you know, in their DNA or whatever, they may be into those types, I would say, as well, or people that have olive colored skin or, um, dark hair, could have dark hair, they could be into straight hair, they could be into um shorter types of women or maybe even men you know not everybody likes tall men maybe they like someone that's shorter than them or if it's a like two men then someone that's shorter than the other or women don't really focus on height of a man but you know i'm just getting different things or it could be petite types as well like shorter types of people um if i didn't say that already maybe round shaped faces or olive or uh, um oval shapes all right oval shape for men i feel like or the men as far as being attracted to a man or a woman being attracted to a man it could also be that they like drawn to square jaws or men who have very defined cheekbones or even the women could also have very sharp cheekbones as well so yeah that's what i'm seeing that they're drawn to doesn't mean that that's what they necessarily like or what they need but that's what they're drawn to so emotionally they are drawn to very deep spiritual people they like people who think outside of the box people that may have a spiritual connectedness to something maybe even religious but they like a person that has this fighter spirit about them. They don't allow limitations to stop them. So they're emotionally drawn to people who have a strong sense of character and spirit, um, who thinks beyond limitations. Someone who's also competitive in nature, maybe that's competitive in life, or someone that's willing to fight for a relationship, or someone who, um, kind of like Kanye West, like not cocky in a sense, but like knows who they are, and they state that they're the shit, they know who they are, what they want in life also very patient and calming types of people people that have a deep perspective on life someone who may have a very dynamic outspoken out uh, very outspoken people have a very strong voice maybe um they might even like soft voices like you know or voices that have that asmr type of vibe they're looking for someone like them basically because they feel like this is them so they're drawn to people like this whether that's really what's for them or not this is what they're drawn to mentally they're drawn to people that make them think deeper make them fight for something make them look at themselves beyond limitations someone that may encourage them 
they like people who are real and authentic to themselves whatever they project in the world they would like to believe that that's who they really are like this is you you know unapologetic I, it's funny that these cars came out because this is kind of how i see kanye west like just unapologetically you regardless of it's if it's controversial or not that's how they see themselves um they look for someone who's also like about unity about people someone who's in tune and harmonious with self and those around them someone that can bring that sense of harmony into their life is what they're seeking spiritually like how can you motivate me how can you spark me up how can you make me a better person whether they're doing this like putting too much responsibility on a person or they really look for a partner that helps them evolve and grow and for them to do the, the same vice versa because i feel like with the temperance card it's a balance um but sometimes they might even like a little bit of competition in their relationship someone that pushes and motivates them to be better like oh you making that much well let me you know they're that type of person i don't get that it's bad necessarily but that's what i'm seeing so let's see if the type that they're drawn to if it's their highest good yep got the writer writer is yes and i feel like these the type that they're drawn to is people who are individuals um they have their own individual identity they don't get caught up in trying to conform to fit their partner or conform conform to fit the people around them they they are themselves they are an individual person with a number one also an enlightened person so i feel like this type for them that they're drawn to or the types that they're drawn to is of their highest good whether that's spiritually whether that's just they're on the right track with what they're looking for so i don't feel like i need to clarify what type of partner they need because they got a yes so let's see how they see you or how they will see you ace of pentacles knight of pentacles and the emperor so they may see you or how they will see you as someone who is very humble and down to earth but also very confident in themselves has a goal has a plan in life they may be drawn to your ambition drawn to your authority your determination your inner strength um they may look at you as the one if you're a masculine energy or a male they may see you as the one for them if you're a female or feminine energy how they see you is like they they match you like y'all go well together you could or they see themselves in you especially if this person is this um well you know self-assured confident person in themselves they believe in themselves and where they're headed where they're going they see you as that type they may see you building up to become the emperor because it's like you have this opportunity like you may have gifts and potential and talents and they may see this in you but the knight of pentacles is like yeah he's well on his way it may take some time but this is where i'm going this is where i'm headed they see you as a person that's very confident in yourself and you definitely could be a march aries with the emperor being an aries card you can also be a scorpio um you guys can also be sagittarius as you get some gemini's taurus virgo capricorn um maybe even pisces leos or they could be but they look at you as someone who has a lot of potential in life and they see you growing and evolving or they see themselves in you whether that's romantically or just like you know you're just kind of like similar to each other you guys have the same type of vibe chemistry <laughs> yep there's a strong magnetic attraction so your advice is like if you feel drawn to this person like see what it's about if this is your partner there's a reason why you guys are equally drawn to each other because yeah you guys share similar characteristics the temperance card is kind of like a soulmate energy and then i didn't really go too much into kanye west but he's a two of hearts which is like the two of cups so this could be a connection that's deep and spiritual or this could be that it's a potential for that but spirit is saying like the reason why you're drawn to this person is because you guys do share similar energies and this person is very self-aware to themselves so of course when they get a partner they're going to be drawn to people that are just like that um or they're also very aware of what they're attracting because they know what they want in life so people that really don't know what they want they're still healing they don't know what they're really looking for if you don't really know yourself so i feel like this person does so that's very attractive i hope that that resonates with y'all if it does feel free to like this video share it subscribe to the channel if you guys have a suggestion for next week to pick a card feel free to leave it 
in the description box below. Don't forget, um, if you guys would like to book with me, check the link for my website. And I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.